my condo tour. Walking in the front door, you see a hook rack right away and a mirror provides uh, the illusion of more space. Then off to the other side is our laundry room, washer and dryer, and lots of cabinets. See the cabinets up there? Yeah, lots of cabinets. But my new habit I'm trying to work on is to keep this horizontal surface clear. It's very easy to stack clutter in here. <laughs> well, now the kitchen, we had it remodeled when we first moved in here eight years ago. And then we bought back the condo just three months ago. So we moved in here three months ago for the second time. But we had new granite table uh, uh, countertops and we had the uh, cupboards painted. We had new lighting up on the ceiling and we just recently installed this fan. Really helps circulate the air and it has a light to it and it's remote control. <laughs> And let's see, so this is a counter. You can also eat at it. It's got a couple of chairs there. So that's my kitchen. And then we've got, just right off the kitchen, we've got a table and it has a leaf. It has a and leaf. And if we have it. more than four, we move those two chairs over there. So, and this is our living room. We've got the sofa that reclines on both sides. And we've got the love seat that reclines, two reclines. So it's like having four recliners. Room. And my husband has balance issues and walks with a walker and has some mobility issues. So he usually sits right here and this thing for his meds, his medications and his other little cluttery stuff goes in that six drawer thing. It's wonderful. Then our house doesn't look like a pharmacy. Over on this side, we have the TV. Then right outside the um, living room, we have what they call a eye or a deck or whatever you want to call it. But it's got a wonderful view. It's all about the view. And now with the fall weather, um, it's our little table for two here, right here. And this is a egg chair that I inherited from the lady that used to live here. We've got the hallway, this hallway that goes into the bedrooms. And we're a two-bedroom couple. <laughs> we weren't when we first moved in eight years ago, but we are now. And this is my husband's bathroom. He needs handicap type stuff in there. And this is his bedroom. Very, very simple. Um, not a whole lot of clothing, not a whole lot of stuff, but it's all he needs. And he's got one dresser and he's got a hook, hook and a clock, which is very important. And he's got a little multi-storage area right there by his bed. And he's got a touch light. Makes it very easy to turn off and on. And then we walk into my bedroom. And I've got the twin-size bed. We used to have a queen-size bed in here eight years ago. But now we've got the twin bed. Now that it's just me in here. And we've got the big desk. Used to be a dining room table. We couldn't fit it into this small condo, but in our apartment it fit, but that we lived before this place, while we were waiting for this place. So this is the bookcase and the wonderful view out there, my window. Um, what else? This is the other desk, the smaller desk that I'm debating on getting rid of, but right now it's kind of nice to have a big desk and a small desk and the TV will be real handy when I start my watercoloring again. And I can watercolor on the desk and watch instructional videos on how to, how to paint. That's my, my dream. My nightstand that has the six drawers, just really cool. And I have a touch, a touch lamp too. We love touch lamps. <laughs> Oh, and we have one in the living room that's remote control lamp. And our fan and that light in the living room is also remote control. Remote control is the best thing when you get older. <laughs> this is my, well, it says chaos free zone. I wanna keep it that way. But I moved all my dressers. I moved three dressers in here. I've got a tall dresser that I actually have some clothes in. Then I have this long 
dresser that I have art supplies, office supplies, and photography supplies, and cords and different things like that. But I have my wicker dresser, I have supplies in there too, now that I don't have a whole lot of clothes. I have one arm's length of hang-up clothes, the rest uh, sweatpants and shirts and, and tops that don't need hanging. Uh, and my slacks are all up there on the shelf, easy to find. And they don't take up drawer space that way because I need drawer space for my hobby stuff. So that's the closet. I even have pictures of my closet now. This lovely thing, this beautiful picture. And I have this other picture. And this is the bathroom. And the gal that lived here before installed these, these nice uh, doors on the shower. We didn't have it. So then uh, he's got the, the bench to sit on since, like I said, he's mobility, has some mobility issues. So that works great for him and lots of bars installed so he can move around. And this big honking uh, pole here, can he can grab on as he gets out of the shower. We want to be safe. So it works well. So this is our bathroom. I try to keep... The counter's clear, but it uh, doesn't always happen. But having this tray up here, put all this clutter stuff, and then I just put it up there. Also, we have both, we have these in both of our bathrooms where we keep things right above the toilet. Extra storage space when you have small quarters. This uh, condo is um, 1190 square feet. So a little less than 1200 square feet. And we're the only two people that live here. So it seems like plenty of room. We don't have a basement. We don't have a garage. We have a little storage closet up on the third floor. It works great. And I don't have a whole lot in there. Don't need a whole lot. It's like downsized so much. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our condo. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we have checklists on the door. This is Dan's and this is mine. Just to remind us what we needed to take before we leave the house. It's great. So, hope you enjoyed the tour. We're happy here. God saved this condo for us. We had to move out because of health issues with my husband. It's working out really well for us. We moved eight years ago uh, into this condo and my friend that was a realtor that worked with us, she said, this is the best bang for your buck. And it turned out that way. We can keep active where there's two, there's an outdoor pool and an indoor pool and there's a clubhouse with a restaurant and lots of activities, over 55 community. You just can't beat it. No, no snow shoveling to do. We have an underground garage so we don't have to scrape, <laughs> scrape ice and snow off of our car in these, these winters that we have. We um, have a uh, mail room that's right nearby. We don't have to go out to get mail. Um, it's just right outside of our door. We have a trash chute, so we don't have to go out to empty the trash. And it's just great. It's just a great community. We're enjoying it here. We're glad that God saved this condo for us. Yay!